Hey guys, it is Mission Discover, and welcome back to another 5-Minute Factoids episode. Today I'm going to take 5 minutes and super, super quickly go over the contents and ideology behind this. This is my outdoor health kit. This includes some general repair items, hygiene items, and some first aid equipment. The reason why this video is going to be so short is because I'm not really going to go over any of the use case of this and demonstrate how to use it. If I tried to do that, it would kind of turn into a first aid instructional video, which I am not equipped or properly certified to be able to instruct upon. However, I think it's good to go over the contents and give you guys some ideas on what to put in here um, for your expeditions. So a couple things I want to say before we get started here are that there are a couple of more uh, trauma-based items in here. With that being said, I don't really think you should put trauma-based items in here unless you are first aid certified. I myself am first aid certified. I got certified a while back for reasons unrelated to the outdoors or the channel. However, when you come to think about it, it's a really, really good idea. You may be out on an expedition by yourself and get injured or be far away from uh, means of getting yourself help. And having the ability to do this on the fly is really, really awesome. It could get you out of a serious pinch. I also want to mention that this kit in general has not seen a ton of use. However, I have similar renditions of this gear distributed throughout all of my equipment and uh, I've used a lot of that. Uh, most of the gear that hasn't been used and the reason why this kit as a whole hasn't been used is because this is a kind of all-in-one kit for more extended outdoor adventures. Um, I'm going to be using this kit as a whole more in the future as I do more camping and backpacking stuff. But with that being said, I'm going to hop right into the contents of this kit. So I have all the contents laid out here, but before we get into that, I'm going to talk about the bag itself. This whole bag system and a lot of the supplies in the kit came from just a cheap Amazon kit. There's a lot of them out there. Just look around. If you know what you're looking for, you can find a lot of them for pretty cheap. Um, you are going to have to add a couple items and replace a couple, but generally for like 20 bucks, you can get a decent one. It doesn't have to be a great bag since theoretically, you're not opening it up a lot if you're staying safe but on the outside I do have a patch identifying that this is a first aid bag that's good to know in case you know you're the one who needs help and you're just like oh go get the first aid bag they're not going to know which one it is unless you have one of these patches and then on the outside I have a paracord attached to one of these trauma shears trauma shears they don't have to be great they kind of just go through material whether that be flash or clothing and get the scene opened up so people can see it really really fast and then I have some safety pins on the outside as well for just general repair tasks getting into the actual kit I'm gonna start with some of the more general stuff this bag here is generally a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes of bandages we have some alcohol prep pads sting relief pads um, some antibacterial pads and then some soap wipes in here this is just general hygiene and simple first aid stuff this is uh, something that no matter your skill level with first aid is going to be valuable to have in a kit like this below that we have a mask this is for something like uh, dust if you uh, have an allergy to pollen or something along those lines uh, it can be really problematic and having something like this could help if you have it with you we have two bandages um, of two different sizes I have a triangle bandage in here as well. You can use this to make a sling, um, wrap other stuff. This is a very versatile piece of first aid equipment if you know how to use it. Some just general like rubber glove type things to keep your hands sanitary if you need to um, get in there and bandage someone up and they're bleeding a good bit or even if you need to do a more serious type operation. I have some general meds in here. An ace bandage, um, a reusable bandage. It's better than the other ones for certain things because you can just roll it back up and it's a little bit more durable. Some Q-tips, a uh, million uses for those, um, applying certain liquids, uh, getting stuff clean, that sort of thing. I also have some Biofreeze. This is just like a sort of cream that you can place on a area of pain and it should uh, take some of that pain away. This is um, water tablets. I've shown these in previous outdoors kits. It is just a backup way to purify some water and it uh, kills viruses, that sort of thing, and just make water safe to drink. I thought this would be a good place to put it, just as a backup to have extra redundancies of something this important. As I mentioned, this is also a sort of hygiene kit. 
Um, I have some toilet paper if you're out there and you need to go. And then more on the trauma side of things, I have one of these space blankets. If someone goes into shock, this is really good to keep them warm. So this is something I'm going to replace. This is a super, super simple tourniquet. Um, it's very, very basic and doesn't work super well. I could make it work in a pinch since I know how to use it. However, I am going to get some upgraded tourniquets and put them in select locations throughout my equipment. Also have a CPR mask. Some tweezers, I'm probably going to get some better ones of these. These are fairly nice though since they are plastic and they're not really going to mar anything up. I may keep these and then just add an additional set that are more precise as well. Yet again, this is for more like extended expedition type things, but I have a uh, collapsible toothbrush and a small tube of toothpaste. This is just some general tape. It's self-adhesive. It's not sticky, but it sticks to itself, which is kind of nice for certain things. And then finally, we have a little repair kit. I have a smaller version of this, which has some other non-repair related items in my uh, outdoor adventure kit, but this is a bigger aluminum tube that when you open it up, has some thread and needles and buttons. I'm gonna add some more stuff to this here in the future. And then on the outside, it has some duct tape for just some general repair type stuff. And you can use it for um, anything from patching up a wound if you run out of band-aids or a makeshift tourniquet if you really, really need it. And with that, that is all I'm gonna have for you guys here in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and possibly learned something from it. If you did, make sure to subscribe because I've got more informational and educational outdoor content coming your way real soon. With all that being said, God bless, and I'll see you next time.